Well, Dubai World's creditors may be a little bit more positive now that the nation has pledged some of its own cash and offered up a restructuring plan. But uh, who would risk a return to the Emirates just yet? And what, after all, has really changed? Well, joining us live from Dubai is Philip Southwell. He's CEO at the biggest Arab investment bank, EFG Hermes, where he looks after operations in the Gulf countries, with the exception of Saudi Arabia. So thanks so much for joining us, Philip. Now, I want to ask you, first of Pleasure. all, are we going to see another Dubai world? There are reports that Dubai Holdings, which is owned by the Emirates ruler, may be the next to try and restructure some $20 billion in debt. I think one of the key issues in the region uh, has been um, over-reliance on the loan capital markets, on bank syndication. Uh, and uh, we're seeing those uh, organizations that have borrowed heavily, uh, with short-term money, uh, term out those finances. Okay. And uh, we've seen those across the region. So I think uh, Dubai World uh, and Dubai Holding have well-documented uh, liquidity issues. Now, what do you make so far of Dubai World's proposals to restructure its debt? Do you think creditors are going to be happy with this? There's some initial uh, uh, fears or worries, apparently, about interest payments. I think uh, the market was looking for some form of resolution. And I think they got it. Uh, the uh, decision last week uh, to, to restructure Dubai World has been very well received by both the bond uh, and the equity markets. I think it's probably been slightly less well received by loan capital markets. Um, but uh, we'll have to uh, you know, wait a little bit longer to see what their reaction is. Now, you say that you've seen a 180-degree change in attitudes from companies there with regards to financing. Just explain that for us. Look, I, I, as I said, uh, I think uh, the whole region was very, very reliant on loan capital markets. Uh, elsewhere in the world, the loan capital markets are significantly smaller than bond markets and equity markets. Uh, and here, you know, in proportion to uh, the bonds and equity markets, it was much, much larger. Uh, the loan capital markets is uh, you know, quite a clunky uh, a market to access, and it tends to be short-term money. Uh, so as the uh, region as a whole uh, delevers and terms out its uh, finances, uh, I think uh, the risks associate, associated with this region are very, very different. So when is it time to get back into Dubai then, or the region in general? It depends what you're investing in. Yeah, I think if you're investing in bond markets, uh, your bond markets are very strong. You know, we've seen a 40% tightening of CDS on, uh, the, on Dubai sovereign. We're seeing equity markets perform well. Uh, and I think uh, both those markets are, are pricing in a much, much lower degree of, uh, of, of risk uh, than they were previously. Your equity markets here in Dubai are trading on a, a forward PE of just seven times. Uh, so I think these markets are very cheap and will perform very strongly for the rest of the year. Now, you're also, uh, you also say that you expect some IPOs in the near future. Tell us about that. I think IPOs will probably take place elsewhere in the region rather than uh, in the UAE. Uh, I think uh, markets like Saudi and Egypt are performing very strongly. Uh, Qatar, uh, also, I think we'll see some, uh, uh, some equity issuance. And then in Dubai and Abu Dhabi, you have maybe some IPO issuance in the fourth quarter this year uh, and much stronger flows uh, at the start of next year. Thanks very much, Philip Southwell, CEO of the Lower GCC, part of EFG Hermes. Thanks so much for joining us.